Welcome to my um first quick makeup Where get out the door quick tutorial. If you hear that in the background, that's my sister. She's getting my daddy for me right now. So I could film this real quick. But welcome to my first quick makeup tutorial. This is my usually what I do quick if I'm trying to get out the door really fast makeup when I don't want to do like a full put on foundation and blending and all the extras I do have a quicker one than this like a 10 20 minute one so if you want to learn that let me know in the comments below so if you want to know how I achieve a visual look -a look -a here stay tuned guys as usual I love y'all it's gonna be a top through so i already um applied my moisturizer my concealer and my primer and this is what i usually do so this is not cheating on my 20 to 30 minutes um quick makeup routine because this is what i usually do i usually put all of this on then i go eat breakfast and i go and um get coffee and bs and this is why i end up usually having to do things rather quickly anyway because i get on the phone and start texting and end up moving rather fast so if you guys might have seen this in my recent haul this is the cover fx foundation i have this in um in 80 if you guys can see that right here and this is going to be a little longer than 20 minutes because it's a talk through but i also have it in in 60 when i'm a little darker during the summer months and I usually apply this with my Sigma and this type of brush. It's rubbed off, if you guys can see that. Because I use this so much because, you know, this is just so much quicker. That's my alarm. Um, it looks like this in the inside. And, of course, it has a mirror. And what I do is um, I just paint it on like it's a Chromebook. So you just paint it on your face. So let's paint. Mm -mm -mm. Yep, yeah, and just get it on the eyes too. And the reason why I put it on the eyes is because in, on, the, on times when I'm rushing like this, you don't have to worry about using an eye primer on your eyes because a list doubles as your eye primer now that that's um quickly done with your foundation and it was rather quick i hope to you guys anyway <laughs> The next thing that I like to do is I like to quickly just do my powder, just my whole face down. Just forget about it and powder it down. This is not part of my normal foundation routine. I'm going to use um, Avon Smooth Mineral Foundation in T320. And I use my Sigma Large Foundation Brush in F30 for this. And this is what it looks like. And then I just powder my whole face down. and that's not something that i normally do with my regular foundation routine i do not normally powder my entire face down with the powder i do not set my whole face with one powder but we're in a rush <laughs> so the next thing that i like to do is once we have our face powder set i move on to the eyes and i since i have a little extra time and i feel like hey got a little extra time i do put on this i use my um this my nyx um base eyeshadow base and skin and i put that on on my eyes so you guys can see it that's why i tried to move it and i keep shaking the camera 
because it is not on a steady base right now and then i try to blend it up as best i can we are in a rush all y'all and today we will be using the chocolate bar palette from this month's giveaway it smells like cocoa and I'm going to be using just a few brushes because, again, we don't need many. And we're going to be using first of this lovely color right there, that one first. And, and first we're going to do is smooth the color on. Usually I pat, but we're in a rush, so first... We're going to just smooth the color on to get the color just on the eyes first. Just in case we have to just hurry up and do the rest of the eye and get out the door. At least we'll have something on our eye. <sighs> Gotta get out there. Think up the train if you need to. Or the bus. Gotta get to work. Then we pat the eyeshadow on. So I have a tendency to wake up late during these summer, I mean, these winter months, trying to get my last 10 minutes in. Then I pat on my eye, get it in there, pat a little more, just right onto the lid. The next thing I like to do is I like to take a fluffy brush and I like to use this one by RC Brushes and it's just a regular fluffy dome brush. You can use any fluffy blending brush that you may have on hand and I like to use this chocolate D browns color right here. This one right there and I just put my brush into it and then I put this all over the top of the lid. Then I put it on the other lid, just repeating the process, blending it well. Realizing that my eyebrows are not done and those could be completed on the bus. <laughs> and then I like to take a pointed brush and I love this pointed brush you will see this a lot in my tutorials by RC Cosmetic it's just a pointed tip fluffy brush it looks like a bunny's tail to me and then I go into this lovely chocolatey um, brown it's just a nice next deep color to the color that we just use and I like to go into that chocolatey color get a nice amount onto my brush and then go all the way around the crease rather quickly and then go into the corner go clockwise and counterclockwise clockwise and counterclockwise clockwise and counterclockwise as quickly as I can And then I take a clean blending brush, like this one by Sigma. It's a taper blending brush, my favorite. It's E40. And then I just blend that out. Blend it out, blend it up. Just blend it out and blend it up. And then I just repeat that step on the other eye. Get a generous amount on my brush. Take it around the eye into the crease. And then go into the corner. Take it clockwise and counterclockwise. Clockwise and counterclockwise. Clockwise and then counterclockwise. You take that same blending brush and blend it on out. Blend it up. Blend it out. Blend it out. 
It was perfect is if you take your iPad with you wherever you're going, as long as you're not driving. Um, it's perfect. You can see your eye, you can see your makeup right into your iPad. And then the next thing I like to do is take this next chocolate color right here. And I like to go right here on the crease with the same fluffy brush and just go halfway just to deepen up this crease go halfway up halfway up and then go back go back and get some more go do the same clockwise counterclockwise motion right here concentrate right here at the tip clockwise counterclockwise Go make a V shape right here at the V. Go in a little. I move way faster than this on my own. And then blend it up, blend it out. Just to deepen things up some. Give it some dimension. Just to deepen up. And this is how it looks. And then I go over to the other eye and I do the same thing. And then what I like to do to give it a little extra dimension is go into this nice little um, color, this maroon color right here. And I like to take the fluffy brush right here, take a little on the tip, not much because this is a very pigmented color. Go right here up top and put like a nice little line up top. Then go over to the other side and put a nice little line up top. And then just blend that out. Give it just a nice little extra, you know, added dimension. And a nice little pop of color. As you guys can see that there. I don't know if you guys can even see that. Let me get in there. Hopefully you guys can see that extra little maroon shot. And then, uh, once I'm done with that, instead of fiddling around with gel eyeliner, like most people do during this time, I go in with my, um, actually what I like to do if I have time, I go back in with my flat brush and... I usually you lose it by now and have to find my other flat brush by elf just like I just did right now and I go back in with the shimmery color that one right there and I put a little extra on my lid to make it pop if I have time if I don't have time I just get this step and say enough is enough you know enough is enough <laughs> mm. But since we have time, and I want to make sure the look looks right for you guys. So, you guys can go back in. and Because this is more about the eye look than the total face look. But this is usually what I do when I'm trying to do my quick makeup look. Okay. Now, as you can see, my eyebrows are done and so is my eyeliner. So, I just lined the bottom of my water line and I lined the top line with a cold liner to speed things up. You can use gel eyeliner or whatever you choose to use. But, I'm going to just use this cream color right here. I'm going to place it on my brow line to highlight and blend it in with this fluffy brush um, from RC. And, it's just a regular fluffy, fluffy, blah, 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 blah. you know what I mean fluffy brush 
hands and you just blend that in like other so and then I'm going to use um if I have time to do this I'm going to conceal underneath my eyes with this um NYX HD um concealer and I believe this is in glow and then I just do a little swipey swipe like so underneath the eyes then I go up and then I create a nice little triangle like so and I do the same thing with the other eye and what I like about the little one is it makes things go a whole lot faster than using a little brushy brush and then then I put some on my cupid's bow and then I put some underneath my chin and then I put some down the bridge of my nose uh, like so and then I take out my lovely beauty blender and I blend it all in ever so nicely underneath my eyes as quickly as I can because time 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 is running out with your nose and I try to give everything a fair amount of attention oh yes I blend up I blend up I blend up I blend out everything is blended so okay. then or sometimes I like to use this thick eye lighting if I'm in a complete brush because then it's just a quick, quick swipe, 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 swipe of the stick and you're ready to go. And then I use that same Sigma brush and I brush on some of this banana powder into the places that I highlight to set the highlight. And this part, my friends, is part of my normal routine sometimes I do not do all this I do the highlighting underneath actually if I'm in a complete rush I will highlight underneath and then I like to go in and finish the eyes because all the other stuff will not be necessary if it is time to go and then I go in and oh you guys cannot see me doing my mascara and then I my mascara and I'm just using this Michelle M mascara in black and then I just put my mascara on and I'm pretty sure that everybody knows how to put on mascara right <sighs> right guys and of course I'll mess up like 80 times and I usually use about one coat because what I like about Michelle M's mascara stretch is pretty far you pretty much need about one coat it's pretty wet formula so you probably need about one coat and it probably do about like both eyes and my lashes are pretty pretty curly and they clump pretty easily so the more I put on the wetter the formula the more I put on the more, pretty much the more they're going to clump together so I have to be very careful with mascara. So, a lot of times I don't even attempt the bottom lashes. I don't have time for this. <laughs> but for you guys, I'll give it a try. Everybody laugh at my funny face. That for the mascara last but not least is the blusher and bronzer and all that jazz what I like to do is I use my elf brush it is just a taper brush I put on some brush I just put on blush and everybody should know how to put on blush by this point hopefully then I just take my elf favorite elf bronzer and this blush bronzer do as you can see I used most of the bronzer and then I just go carve up my cheekbones I'm old fashioned as you guys can see <laughs> hit up my hairline 
but see I'm always wearing hats so part of my hairline just never shows so I'm in a rush so I don't even bother doing that so I head up to bias in my nose I carve out the sides of my nose and then I use my big fluffy brush that I use this with make sure there is no lines and if I have a quick second of course I do highlighter what's wrong with the highlighter on so then I go down the bridge of my nose I hit up my cheekies go up go by this is my favorite um, e.l.f. highlighter. Um, you guys can't see that. It's one of their new highlighters. They're baked highlighters. I'm not quite sure. I can't remember which one this one is. But I love their new baked highlighters. They're very subtle. and They don't make me look shiny. I also like the Mirabella ones. And of course the Hourglass ones are great. And then I put like a little bit here. Makes me look awake right there. And I always put Vaseline on my lips because um, with the winter weather, it's always dry. So I always, and they're always cracked, like always cracked. So I always put Vaseline at the beginning of my makeup while I'm walking around doing nothing. And then at the end, I put some more on and I'm using this one called Toxic by Dose of Color. And then I put this on and everybody should hopefully not put on lip gloss. I like to apply um pigmented glosses instead of lipsticks because um they don't really acquire a lot of lip liners even though some people, people like to use it with it and so they don't bleed as easily and they're easier to apply throughout the day and today i have waves instead of um curls because you don't have to really do as much work and they're not really cooperating today but what's evs like it's time to get up and go and as you guys can see my sickle cell bruising scars there and uh got a little makeup on my hats but i just turn it around <laughs> but um this is um, the finished look guys if you like it please give this video a thumb up and of course as always i enjoyed sitting and spending time with you i consider you guys lovely friends and before you go dang this video was long i got to edit this <laughs> um i got a quick unboxing for you guys okay all right <laughs> before you guys go took me long enough i have another prize for march madness giveaway for you guys and if you enjoyed this video you guys could win this basic eyes kit from sigma beauty what comes in this kit let's see it includes a eyeliner brush the e05 brush a pencil brush a taper blending brush my favorite brush a eye shading brush a large shading brush a small angle brush a medium angle brush everything you need to do a good ass i mean a kick ass eye look for yourself so if you want to win this prize all you got to do is number one leave a message underneath this commenting that you want to win this just say i want to win and number two subscribe to my channel number three like this video and share if you want wherever you share a video and as always, I love you guys, but it is time for me to go. So I'm going to be chucking up the deuces.